This short video will explain the procedure for assessing body composition through hydrostatic or underwater weighing. Begin by determining the subject's mass and height. This data will be entered into the software associated with the tank at Appalachian. If the procedures in this video are followed, the ensuing body fat percentage value has an error of plus or minus 2% due to the normal biological variation of fat-free mass. So how does this thing work? How do you actually calibrate it? Okay, so first thing we need to do is make sure the tank is off. Okay. So we're going to flip this switch, and you'll hear everything stop running. And then we're going to come all the way up here. we got to do some stuff on the computer. And we got to flip the switch to actually turn it on. And that's right here. And then at the computer, we're going to switch it to box. And you're going to see... These lights are going to turn green and LC connect. Okay, so that just means everything's running. So now to calibrate it, we hit zero. And it says the platform must be empty, no calibration weights. And you can see there's nothing on the platform right now. So we're going to say okay. So the zero calibration is performed. And now to calibrate it. So we have this calibration weight right here. This is 5.69 kilograms. So we're going to type that in because right now it says 0.926. So first this goes in the middle of the, the rack right there. So we have to change this weight so that it reads the same. So where it says no cal is where you type in the 5.69? Yep, where the no cal is, okay. 5.69. Now we're going to hit calibrate because the weight's on it already. It says calibration weights must be on the platform, weights must be above the water line, and we have that. So we press OK, and it says calibration performed. So now we can remove our calibration weight. And we're done. So what happens after you calibrate it? So we have to put in the subject data. So we have name, and then I ask you your age, which is 24. Height in inches, which we got at 70.5. And then over here we have your dry weight, which we measured as 74.7. Um, we have to get the water temperature, which we have right here. And that says it is 36 degrees Celsius. Now we have to estimate your residual um, lung volume. So if we click male, it says 1.624, and that's just an estimate, but we're going to put it in over here where it says lung volume, six, two, three. Okay. And then, so this is all the computer stuff and all your data, and this is just going to help us better estimate your body density in the water. Okay, so what I need to do first is you're going to have to dip your head underwater, make sure all your hair gets wet, because we want to get all the air bubbles out. All right, now go ahead and pat out your shorts and try and rub down your legs, make sure there aren't any more bubbles. All right. Okay. So, for the first test, what we're going to do is I need you to put your feet on top of the foot platform, just okay. like that. And you're going to hold on to the seat next to you. Okay. So not on the handlebars, but down where you're sitting. Okay. Yep. So you're going to maintain that the entire time. All right. So in order for this test to be accurate, we need to make sure that you get all the air out of your lungs, because that's going to affect how much you weigh in the water. All right. So above water, I want you to breathe out as much as you can, okay. and then as you go under, give me every last bit out of your lungs. So I can't start measuring the test or start the test until I stop seeing air bubbles. So once, so once you go underwater, you need to get all the air out of your lungs as fast as possible because you don't want to be under there for too long. Okay. 
Okay? How do I know to come back up? So, when it's time to come back up, I'm going to knock on this metal part right here, just like this. Okay. Do you want to hear what that sounds like under the water? Sure. Okay. Okay. Okay? So when you hear that, it's time to go. Alright. Um, if at any point you feel like you can't stand there any longer, it shouldn't be more than a few seconds, you can come up. I don't want you to drown or because then I'll have to come and save you. Okay? Right. Sounds good. Alright, I think we are ready to go. Any more questions? That's all I got. So, whenever you're ready, expire all your air. Alright. So now I'm going to select an analysis region. So what I'm looking for is when it kind of hits that flat point. So usually it's going to be somewhere in the middle. And you can adjust it as you need. <clears throat> so here it'll tell us the average weight. So that's him in the water. And then from that we can calculate body density and body fat percent uh, based on the information that we had to plug in up here. The procedure you watched is typically repeated several times until a consistent density value is achieved. Subjects will learn how to properly exhale the air from their lungs and typically achieve a higher density value with practice.